destined to bear the jeweled crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange, and today we're playing the Barbarian Archers in ranked mode. With Ambriorix, of course, you can play the Barbarian Archers on Arminius. Saying that, you can play anything on Arminius, it does pretty damn well. This time round, though, we're going with the Ambriorix because that crippling shot saves lives. It's amazing. Not only can it save your life from a cav charge, it can also save your allies. And man, it feels good when you use that crippling shot to save some Kanani Archers. And then you're like, you couldn't do that shit, could ya? You don't have that trick up your sleeve. Also, the Tier 7 Archers do lack a bit of range, but they make up for it with pure firepower. The damage they put out is top-notch, and their run speed helps close that gap. Any Greek range units that gets a bit too close are going to feel the pain, because they can't put out nearly as much DPS at this tier than the Barb Archers can. At tier 8, on the other hand, the Slingers will just, uh, yeah, stand there and kill you. So, don't take them on. Make sure they're tier 7 Slingers. <laughs> Luckily, over the weekend, when Ranked was on, it was capped at tier 7. That's the only tier you could take into these games. Or should I say, lucky for the Barbarian Archers, if it was tier 7 to tier 8, man, those Slingers would have been laughing their ass off. Oh, he's trying to take me on? He's trying to... This guy thinks he's a range unit. <laughs> and after they're done laughing at you with their shields raised, they'll throw a fucking stone in your face, and you'll die. But that doesn't happen at tier 7. The Greeks have to respect your authority when it comes to ranked mode. Normal mode, on the other hand, you'll find out. It's not a fun experience. It's not the end of the world, but you definitely do not want to be just standing there, trading shots. Now, since the units I am playing do not have the longest range in the world, I do have to put that chase on. Luckily, the Barbarian Archers are very quick. But I am opening myself up for a world of pain. The Cav can come in at any second. Or could... Or can they? Or can they? Because I do have that crippling shot. Which can be very devastating for any Cav that tries to take you on. And he looks like he got tied up by the spears. Which is lucky for me. I swear he got me at one stage, but oh well. One thing I do have to say after playing ranks, I feel like the Cav needs something, like maybe bonus melee damage against archers or bonus melee attack. Something to kill the range a bit quicker once they do engage them in melee combat. Because, here we go, I stop its charge here, boom, crippling shot, the other one comes in, another crippling shot, and that just stops his charges and now he's trying to melee me down, it's not going to work, I can just shoot him. Now, those Cav units were on decent health. Well, one was on full health before they tried to engage there. Yeah, they just need... I'm not sure, more armor versus Archers? I'm not sure how to balance it out exactly. But, they should not get destroyed like that. Not as quickly as that, at least. Maybe just some more missile block, because the problem is you don't want them to be strong against infantry. So that's the balancing act. You don't want them to be just face tanking infantry and not having to worry about that. At the same time, you want them to be able to tank the um, Archer Fire. At least when they're in combat. There's the other thing. You still want the Cav to be taking damage when they're just running around the circles. The Archers should be able to hurt them. So maybe they get more missile block after the charge. It lasts for 5 seconds, say, or 10 seconds, they have missile block after they charge. So what do you guys think? How how did you feel about Cav in ranked mode? Personally, I stuck with the infantry, the javelins, and these archers. And when I say infantry, that was the spears, pikes, uh, Roman infantry. All good choices. The poor old barbs did not see the light of day. But let's get back into, this is meant to be an Ambriorix archer video, so let's get back into that. One thing I do have to say about this commander, he has two great abilities, one's the haste and one's the crippling shot. His other ability, it doesn't see the light of day very often unless you're shooting at catapults and scorpions. But that does not matter, just because of how strong 
his other two abilities are. They can make it very viable to play archers as barbarians. Also, a few tips when you do play these units, what you want to do is have them spread out when you can. Their fire arc is a lot flatter when they're not piled on top of each other. Also, you don't want to be on top of allies either. That also makes you shoot right up into the sky. When you do spread them out, you also avoid a lot of problems such as not... You know, well, you don't get blown up by catapults as quickly. The scorpions won't hit all three of your units at once. And the same can be said for some archer players and slinger players. They'll just focus one unit down at a time. So if you have them spread out, you're going to be taking less damage. Of course, that's easier said than done. I'll blob this shit up all the time. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. When you can do it, do it. Also, another thing to keep in mind, when the cav does get close, pressing dash is not always the best option because then the whole time dash is up, you cannot use your abilities such as crippling shot. And I've learned that the hard way a few times where I go, oh shit, panic button, just press dash to run away when it would have been better just to shoot that crippling shot right in their face and stop them from charging me altogether. Also, I see that quite a few Embryoris players do this. They see that the enemy range units are out of their range, so they, prop, they pop that from the Shadow's ability so they can shoot at them. The problem is the enemy can close that gap, and then you're stuck shooting up in the air and you're slowed. You're going to lose, basically. Because all the enemy has to do then is close that gap and they're going to be doing a lot more damage while dodging all your shots. The only time you can really get away with it is if your infantry is pushed ahead or you're in hidden terrain. You just have to make sure that the ranged units you are shooting at can't close that gap while you have From the Shadows up. Well, I hope that made fucking sense. <laughs> I tried to explain it as best as I could. That's pretty much the end of this video. The next video I will be doing is going to be about ranked mode in general. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. And I'll see you next time.